Hi everyone, you are listening to Hi Wonder. In today's session, we would like to study a new gameplay, Naughty Scorpion. So the purpose of this gameplay is to learn about how to use the servo. We can turn QD into Naughty Scorpion in this gameplay. So sounds very interesting, right? So at the first step, we should assemble QD into scorpion shape. If there is an object being detected, QD will move forward with the cross open and close. If the object leaves away, QD will stay calm again. So you can refer to this link for the QD scorpion assembly process. We can use the ultrasonic sensor to detect whether there is an object in front of QD. If there is an object being detected, QD will move forward. So we can set the angle of QD servo with the cross open and close. Now let's come to see the details of the program. We can simply check the naughty scorpion hex file into the microbit programming page. You can see the program right here. At the beginning, we should initialize the QD first. And in this place, the color sensor has been connected to the number 9 port on the QD controller. We can set the bus server 1 and bus server 2 to a certain angle right here. So you can see the index number 1 and index number 2 in this place to show the server's number. So we can come to the forever command, set the variable distance to the distance detected by the ultrasonic sensor. Here we should choose the number 2 port. If the distance larger than 5 but less than 30, then we can set the QD move forward. Here the speed both come to 40. Then we can set the flag to 1. So what does this program mean? We can use an equal sign to make a variable, store the number or strings we say. So this program is used to remember the program that we wrote before in this place. If it cannot satisfy, then we can set the motor 1 speed and motor 2 speed to 0 and set the flag to 0, just to remember the speed motion here. Then we can come to judge. If the flag equals to 1, that means it can satisfy the condition right here. Then we can set the bus servo 1 and bus servo 2 to run on certain actions. And then we can repeat the actions for twice. Okay, so this is the overall explanation for this gameplay. Now let's come to see the demo video of this one.